I've been a full-time day trader for about three years now and I'm telling you that right now is a generational opportunity to make a killing in the stock market but there's a catch You've probably heard people say in 2008, had I bought this stock or this stock, I would have made a killing and been retired by now. Everybody has a golden opportunity, especially young people, to do those exact things and make 200, 300% returns in the stock market, even if you're a beginner. Although the reasons for this crisis are a lot different, that doesn't change the fact that the end of the world only happens once. By the end of this video, I'm gonna show you information that you can use to do simple investing, even if you're a beginner and you don't don't have all that much money. Before I get into this, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in stocks. Let's go. So like I said before, I've been day trading full time for about three years now and I've gotten really, really good at finding the bottoms of stocks. So we need to figure out how to capitalize on this market move caused by the coronavirus. What we first want to understand is what's actually happening to the stock market. So basically in 2015, the stock market started to see very aggressive gain. And that came with two things. It came with speculation on Donald Trump's success as a businessman running the country and also because the US economy decided to cut the corporate tax rate from 35 down to 21 which incentivized United States businesses to expand and reinvest which really helped the stock market and the overall economy grow then the coronavirus came into play that sent the markets plummeting about 40 to 50 percent some sectors even saw 60 to 70 percent decreases which is basically panic it's people panicking right so so the true value of the stock market is going to be somewhere between those two values, but it's definitely not worth what it's actually at right now because of how low it is and because of how quickly it went down. So if you look right here, this is 2016. Then the coronavirus comes into play and you see this huge roll off. But as you can see right here, since 2008, we've seen a gain of 350%. And that took about 10 years. And then in one month, we've seen almost half of those gains get erased. So that usually means that it's being sold way too quickly and that's not really going to be a sustainable level. So what does that mean for us? That means that we get to bargain by a lot of value stocks and be able to see 200, 300% returns in a very short amount of time, right? But we have to be careful. So here's what I propose you do if you're looking to invest right now. So obviously the overall stock market is getting crushed, but there's certain areas of the stock market that it's getting especially crushed. One of the first things that happened with this whole pandemic is travel restriction. What does that mean? It means that airlines and companies that have to do with transportation immediately were put basically out of business. That happened before all of the government shutdowns and the quarantines. So they were the first ones to get hit. Okay, so airlines are down huge. Another sector that's down huge is entertainment. So cruise lines, things like that. Nobody's going on vacation right now, obviously. Well, a few college students are going, but most people are not going on vacation right now and they're not flying. So you see those two sectors are down 60, 70% right now. Those are valuable, good companies that are a seventh of what they were worth about a month ago. So here's what I recommend doing. Pick out a sum of money that you're okay with in the worst case scenario losing, but a sum of money that you're comfortable risking on a longer term investment. Find three to five of these companies that are especially beat down. Airlines, cruise lines, retail stores, and things like that. If you don't know how to invest, you can easily open up a TD Ameritrade account, Fidelity investment account. It's a very quick process. Just go onto the website and sign up. So take the total amount of money you're planning on investing and take those three to five beaten down companies that you find and evenly divide that money into three to five of those companies. That way, if one company goes under, you're not going to lose all your money. So I have an example of a portfolio that is comprised of these companies in these beaten down sectors. So let's take a look. So the first one I chose is American Airlines. Right now it's trading at $12. So if you were to trade it back up to about 40%, which is a really good average, that would put you at a 219% gain if you were to buy right now. The next stock that I chose for this portfolio is Norwegian Cruise Line. Okay, if you look at Norwegian Cruise Line, it normally trades around $50 per share for the past four to six years. Right now it's trading at $10.50. So if you were to trade this up to a pretty normal level, 
total, you could make 307% on this investment. Another company I chose for this portfolio is Spirit Airlines. Spirit Airlines normally trades around the $40 to $50 range. Once again, if you rode this up from $12 up to $50, you'd make roughly 300%. And the final stock is Starbucks. This is a little bit more of a risk adverse trade because of the even growth that Starbucks has over time. Starbucks isn't all that volatile. Um, it trades actually pretty consistently. It doesn't have huge down or up swings. Although you'd only make 37% if you were to buy it at 68, which is what it's at right now, and trade it up to the highest point that it was before this crisis, you'd only make about 40%. But the thing is, is that over time, Starbucks is most likely not going anywhere. Basically guarantee getting 40% over the next five years. So if you were to average all of those gains that you'd make on these three to five stocks, the average that I came out to was 217.5% return. Okay, so obviously this isn't guaranteed. Obviously these are theoretical figures, but if it traded back to a normal range, once this virus blows over, you're going to be able to potentially double, maybe even triple the amount of money that you put into this. So hopefully now you see the opportunity that's at hand. Consider how low certain companies are right now that are good companies that will most likely recover and think about the amount of money you can make if you buy those right now. I hope this video helped. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Any feedback that you give to me is much appreciated and I hope you loved this video.